Hello viewers, welcome to our special program Meet the Envoy. This program we invite envoys of different countries. Today we are very honored to have our special guest, the Goodwill Ambassador of UNHCR and Japanese musician Miyavi. Let's talk with him. Mr. Miyavi, Hi. thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. My first question is, yes. uh, what is your impression on the situation of the Rohingyas in Bangladesh? And between your previous visit and now, mm -hmm. what are the major changes you have seen in the camps and what motivates you to come back? So uh, it's an eye-opening experience, you know, everything what, what I witnessed here. And then um, the first time I visited uh, Kutapalon refugee camp here, was uh, February 2018, last year. So at that time, that was an emergency phase. So people were, you know, uh, evacuated from Myanmar, and then they were trying to settle down, trying to find a way to survive uh, in refugee camps. So especially before monsoon, monsoon was hitting. So I remember uh, all the unity staff trying to prepare um, for monsoon so that there's no um, um, people that get harmed and also uh, you know try to make it less damage so now um, after um, almost a year and a half uh, the situation has been different so now people started thinking you know, settle down a little bit but still kind of trying to um, are they are facing the new problems here how to live here, how to, especially education, all the parents for their children. So even if they have um, a little access to some schools, but they can't get the, the education officially. So that's what uh, all the parents are concerned. Now also, um, to me, it's really important to come back to this um, same situation so that we can see the development what's working and what's not working so this time was really really meaningful and fruitful to see the progress like um, the protection and then preparation for monsoon I heard there is um, almost no damage last year from monsoon in the camps and then also uh, uh, registration identification for uh, refugees in the camp so that they can uh, manage uh, productively and also additional land that we we were given by the government so that we can organize a more more place to avoid the congestion and also uh, I witnessed that the more young people uh, who are volunteering to support elderly family so that was uh, um, the progress I've seen this time. Uh, I, I do think it's really important to come back to see the development and progress, and yeah, I've seen that. Okay. So do you have any message on the occasion of World Refugee Day, which falls on June 20? Um, you know, especially countries like Japan, we don't have uh, much uh, information what's happening in the world, especially in the refugee camps. So uh, this is the, the great chance and opportunity to be able to think what we can do. So let's say in Japan, we don't have any access or information, but there's something that we can do, you know. Maybe there's a little thing we can do individually, but we, when we get together, we think together and we act together, we might be able to do something bigger. As a goodwill ambassador, what have you done to address the refugee causes? And what motivates you to be UNHCR goodwill ambassador? So in your opinion, how can celebrities contribute to the benefits of the refugees? So uh, basically what we do, and our role is a bridge to uh, spread and deliver and then uh, let um, people who have no idea see and witness what's happening here so um, yeah for me um, just to 
the visit and talk and listen to their lives and also witness and then get inspired and as a musician I create music and I spread I had no knowledge or experience I was really scared because refugees you know is it dangerous oh I had no idea but I met Angelina Jolie special envoy of NCR she taught me she got me inspired I, I and then I thought I want to do something for that we rocked you know the, everyone enjoyed our performance and then I felt oh we, now we can do something toward the whole world through music we can spread the message so people sometimes don't listen to a speech they just get bored but they might listen to our music if we can put the right message into our creation that's our mission as a as a creator so um, basically what we do is a bridge even art music sport whatever we have we use um, for a right thing that's why we're here as an ambassador so as you have said uh, you have first visited Lebanon so in this case you have been to many other countries also as yeah. part of your role as an, the Goodwill Ambassador. So how do you find the situation in Bangladesh and elsewhere? Um, in Bangladesh? Yes, do you see any major differences between the other countries and Bangladesh? Um, yeah, especially in this country, the refugee crisis has been over 30 years and then it happened and it started healing, but it happened again. It's like a keep getting injured. So, and then the 2017, the big explosion occurred. That's, uh, that's really hard. You know, I, I've been seeing a meeting of many, many refugees who came to Bangladesh and went back to Myanmar and then came back again. It's a, uh, I've been feeling how stressful they are, especially with the distance that they can see their hometown right there they can reach but they know that they cannot go back because it's not safe enough so yeah that's really uh, I know it's really really complicated in a sensitive issue between the countries you know it's really politic thing but for them you know it's really stressful not be able to see the future what's happening next what they can do in their lives, especially parents, you know, for children. They're responsible for their children, but they don't know what they can do for their children. So, um, yeah, it's really, really, um, I mean, even to me, frustrating to see what's happening right here. Ravi, um, my next question is, we came to know that in the meantime, you have met our Bangladeshi Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, yes. in an event organized by the Japanese Prime Minister. So, could you please share your experience with Bangladeshi Prime Minister concerning Rohingya issue? It was such an honor to meet her. And then, I was invited to the party to say thank you to her as an ambassador of UNICR for generous support for refugees in Bangladesh so I understand it's not easy it's in a complicated situation especially in her position she's also in charge I mean she's responsible to protect the you know her own uh, the citizens here and then it's been two years and it's and then especially without seeing the destination or even the direction I know it's a uh, frustrating and I know the government has been feeling that from the citizens, but still, for example, just giving the refugees additional land to avoid the congestion. It's really, really generous. And then my role was to say thank you to her. And then I was able to meet her at the Prime Minister Abe's office in Japan. And then, yeah, that was, that was a great moment. And then she said, um, I know in her position she can't say anything much, but uh, she was really, really, you know, calm and supportive. 
and then she's, she said that she's going to do her best for both host communities and refugees. Very nice. So you're a globally reputed musician, and meanwhile, you have been advocating refugee causes So as a goodwill ambassador. So would you please explain what is its impact on refugees? Um, you mean through my yeah. As, as a musician, or? as a celebrity, what its impact on refugees? Um, you know, for us, you know, what we can do is to spread and then to let people see what's happening here. And then again, you know, for people who might not listen to what we talk, but we, they might listen to our music. So the key is to keep, to continue observing and also witnessing and then um, being active as an ambassador for this uh, refugee crisis in a cool way so that younger generation can follow us. They think, oh, this is a cool way to get involved. It doesn't have to be only refugee crisis, you know, you know, environment or gen gender equality or, you know, many, many things we need to deal with for the future. So especially, you know, rock star and ambassador, totally different image. I never expected to be in Bangladesh as an ambassador. I wanted to come here as a rock star, but uh, I'm here as an ambassador and then I just do my best to be a role model for younger generation so that they can follow us and then we can keep doing, you know, keep um, dedicating ourselves to any issues in the whole world and then yeah I hope and everything we we do helps people who are in a difficult situation so every time I when I see children smile it it gives me motivation it makes me think oh I want to do more even if I'm tired and exhausted it makes me do, want to do more as our mission so again you know if we can make cool music with the right message people listen to us that's that's I think a new uh, role model as an education because you know people sometimes don't like to go to the school but they like music so you know it's really important you know to be too preachy but at the same time to put the meaningful message into our creation for the future. Uh, so far as we know, you have 10 solo albums and so many tracks. Yeah. So do you have any lyrics on refugees or anything such? Yeah, I mean, since the first time I visited the camp uh, in Lebanon, this is the main thing you know, I, I've been thinking about because People, you know, we all of us can appreciate music as long as the world is safe. If the place or where we live is not safe, we can't appreciate music. We can't have a good time. So uh, we need to make sure that you know everything's right. And then music has a role to to proceed and to. Um, advocate and also educate people who listen to our music so um, yeah and also people don't want to listen to anything kind of hard when they have party but that's our responsibility because we can't um, ignore what's happening in the world we need to see it we need to deal with it we need to face it so I think music also has a role and then you know responsibility so, yeah, many thing, many songs that I have, uh, which I made uh, with inspiration that I got from my experience at refugee camps. It would be better for us if you get more time, but our time is very short, so mm -hmm. it would be better. Do you have any message to the viewers? After that, we will request you to sing a song for us. Okay, yeah. And the first of all, I'm really happy to be here as an ambassador, as a Japanese. And then, you know, Japan, Bangladesh, there are so many things that we can share. 
So as a bridge, I'm really happy to be back here. And then through music, sport, I mean, we can go beyond uh, language barrier or cultural difference. So I'm looking forward to coming back here as an ambassador and also a musician.